all right what's up y'all we're back with another video and right here i got the auto b update pretty much um i did a tutorial video on this before but this is an updated tutorial of it so just like in the last video you'd come to patreon i know a lot of uh, people have said y'all don't want to pay monthly which right now you have to pay monthly i mean we got a new tool right here called translate b which also translates mods this one's free it's not really much of anything so you got translate b and then you got auto b which we have to make these uh paid for because they're pretty much really i mean it took us a long time to do this man and they, they and there's a game changer honestly I mean, you're making mod packs automatically and you're translating any add-on you want to automatically but what we are trying to work towards is getting it to where the tool is pretty much on um the microsoft store and on mobile devices which would be the app store and the google play store all right so yeah other than that yeah, you do go to patreon You'd come to collections or whatever. Then you'd come here. I'm in um my creator mode right now, so it probably looks different. Uh, this will be locked for you. Then you would download this. Also, when you download it, I'm gonna just let you know it's gonna tell you something about oh it's it's a warning. But just just know, me and my team are not trying to hack anybody. None of that. None of that. None of that. It's just something we probably have to fix. But if you get it, it's it's pretty much your PC doing what it needs to do. So it's not an error. This is what your PC is supposed to do. Um, it doesn't know what the hell this is. So it doesn't know if you want to trust it or not. You just got to trust it. So this will look different as well on Google Chrome users. Because uh, I had a Google Chrome user ask me how to fix it. And he had to go use like a whole different... Uh, actually no he turned off his protection settings yeah he turned off his protection settings and it fixed everything so we're just gonna do keep anyway which um this one's updated that i have so i'm not gonna use this one in the video i am but i'm not all right so once you download it from there you want to go to your downloads you'll have an application right here you want to click on it you want to hit yes and i recommend you not download it here do not download it in your program files if anything you can download it on uh, a different drive if you got different drives I have two of them and then the main PC drive but I'm gonna put it in the main PC drive all right but what you need to do is put it in like a separate folder within this area don't put it in program files because it's not fully trusted to your device so it's not gonna so i'm just gonna put in this auto b all right so next next you can create a desktop short shortcut if you want to you can uh then you just click install all right so done blah 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 you can launch it when it's done if you want to it'll boom you got all these terms and stuff because we don't want we don't want anybody misusing our tool and us getting in trouble for it so that's what this is uh, other than that yeah this was what you would get you got a help section right here you got start process blah 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 everything like that but that's in that's in that update so and i don't have that one if you want to just uninstall this i'm just showing y'all how the exe works for y'all pretty much and then i'll get into the updated tool that i haven't released which i'll release after this video um so you want to go to out of where you installed it so you'll see it right here this is the actual app and then you want to hit uninstall and then yeah and then boom see it's just gone and this is mine this is the one that we have now all right so i'm gonna minimize that same thing but in this one the log is gone as you can see that little log box that was down there it's not there anymore preview changes right here it's not here but i'm gonna do it tonight actually that's another thing this got updated uh, i'll show you how this how this actually works all right so what you want to do to use this tool though go to auto be and um, I'm going to 
I'm about half asleep, so add files. Then you got all right. You don't got these, but these are my mod packs. Some of these probably won't work. I'm gonna just let you know now. Some add-ons can't can't you can't merge them together. Cause you gotta understand like certain things you merge together. You can't have two UIs mixing with two UIs. I mean the tool fixes most of that, but some of them won't be fixed. And you also can't add something that's outdated as hell. If it's if it's broken, if the add-on is broken, it'll break everything. Let me just add all these. Yeah, let me just add them all. Alright, so because this isn't my full dawn pack, so I didn't really want to do anything with them. But alright, then you do check manifest. Alright, so it says all of them have a manifest, so that's good. But the way I wanted to show y'all an error with it. The way you would get an error with the check manifest, pretty much what you want to do with that. Also, this doesn't work with MC add-ons yet. That's something we got to do, which we will do. Um, so all you got to do is turn all these into MC packs. That's all you got to do. But the way you would get a, a, a error with a check manifest, pretty much. All right, you see how all these files are right here? Like in each one of these I have like all the files it's not just a folder like now you see these this MC add-on all right so say this was an MC pack and I went into it and it looked like this it just had that one folder instead of these it's not gonna read your manifest It's reading this folder instead of the files so you just gotta go inside of it and then go into the uh, folder which has the files zip it and then you'll pretty much just rename the zip file to MC pack it's easy as that put the output wherever you want to put it then you do start process all right so this is something new because this merges Claire Johnson's it merges scripts it merges sub packs it merges everything you need to need to merge within an add-on which took us a long time to get to Especially the sub pack part but okay so uh, Final Fantasy has a it has a sub pack in it right so it says select the sub pack folder by its numeric index so one or two so pretty much I want physics 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 owner off so I'm gonna turn the physics on all right that was the only uh, I guess that was the only sub pack I had and you'll see the process being done here or wherever you selected the add-ons or wherever you put the output there's two process usually processes you can see but uh, right here you can see I got the packs so we wouldn't need this anymore it does reset it resets it so you can um, go ahead and do everything again alright so you see I got everything here uh, you, you're not gonna see a sub packs folder it takes everything from the sub pack and actually puts it into where it needs to be uh, alright we're gonna upload these to minecraft alright so as you see I crashed actually so that's a good example so now we're gonna skip to the next packs the great I mean the greatest we're gonna do default, we're gonna do harder mobs. Merge together, it works. Like this, yeah, see? Yeah. So I mean, we got the animations. This this is actually something for a server I'm working on at that. So I mean, it's not bad. It's working. Then we got all the stuff from the little pack too. But I'm in creative, so I mean. Alright. It gave us a message of everything we got. Because everything is left to right. Or, or right. Yeah, left to right. That that whole add-on is left to right. That's what I'm trying to say. This Chinese add-on. But I mean, it works, you see. It looks pretty cool. I think you have to give this to somebody. I don't know how that works. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't know 
how that all works. I'm pretty sure things work, you know. The items are tight as fuck in this add on. That looks sick as hell. <laughs> what the fuck? Minecraft on drugs, boy. Nah, let me stop. Look at this, man. I'm, I'm, if it was in English, I would know what I'm doing, but I don't. Alright, we got a chest there. Look at there. Look at there. We got a chesty go, chesty go. Messages at the top though that it did something. So I mean I don't I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing. <laughs> Are these weapons? These custom weapons? Oh yeah, they, they work too. Okay. Oh, what is this? Doing? I don't know, but that armor, that armor on the animation they ain't working. I know that. Like I said, some mods won't work together. You gotta sit there and work together. <laughs> Can't just be my future. We'll make it to where everything, cause um, what, what's it called? There's, there's an update coming. I can't, I don't know what update it was. I think it's 1.20 something, something. Oh, block. It might be. I can't remember. I can't be honest, I can't remember right now. But I do know that there's an update coming in and that update is supposed to make it to where um, scripts and other add-ons and stuff work that way better. Alright, boom. Oh shit, it's the Slime King. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I feel like I mean like you feel me like the an the armor didn't work on my character like that with the animation so out of everything that didn't work the only thing was the armor not not working on my character like wow <laughs> soon we're making a we're working on a uh a um an app this is actually the app right here i'll go ahead and show you what it kind of looks like <laughs> it's just messed up this is this is for android though that's what this is literally for like this would be y'all's um y'all it actually would work if I actually released it, but it just looks stupid. It just looks stupid. It doesn't look good. So I mean, I know if I released it and you downloaded it on your phone, yeah, yeah. Actually, Androids can actually um run EXE files. If you have an Android and you didn't know that, you could actually go ahead and buy the tool and run the tool on your uh, Android. iPhone users, I don't know. You probably have to be jailbroken. But yeah, Android users can run EXE files. But other than that, yeah, y'all stay frosty. Have a good night. Peace.